only one I see. Come on, baby, it's you. Hello, twit twit. Hello, twit twit. Ready? Mic check. Mic check. One two. One two. <laughs> Hey babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel of You Are Those Fantastic. Welcome to all new faces, welcome to the fam bam. If you're yet to join the fam bam, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And when you do so click that notification bell so that we can be notified every single time I upload a video. Okay, okay. What do we think about this new background? Do you guys like it? I don't know. I don't really like yellow. Yellow is not my favorite color, like literally. But I said to myself that I need to literally start trying the things that I say I don't like to really, you know, just... So... I'm getting used to it. <laughs> All right guys, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I have a few makeup products that I'd like to test out with you guys, you know. I wanted to experience this together, okay? I picked up most of these products when I was recently in London. And um, one of the products that I really wanted to try out just arrived from Amazon today, literally, and I am so excited. All right, so without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So the first product naturally that I have that I really want to try out is a foundation. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. I have been waiting to try this foundation for the longest time. But when I, I couldn't find my shade here in Australia, you guys already know, like if you're actually, if you're relatively new to my channel, you don't, you will know that I've been mentioning this for quite a long time. You can't really find a lot of melanin shade or melanin celebrating shade here in Australia. So you gotta like, outsource it you know it is what it is so this is what the foundation looks like all right it's it comes in a 35 ml bottle it's a squeezy tube bottle and i picked up the shade deep olive um i have swatched this on numerous occasions every time i just remember that i have foundation to test out i just go there and i swatch it because i'm really excited about it okay i've heard a lot of good things about this and this came out years ago i think i don't even know when if you know exactly when this foundation came out please comment down below when i went on the next us website this morning i found that they just introduced 10 more shades or something like that so this foundation comes in 30 shades so every time i go ahead, every time i squeeze the foundation out of this tube water a bunch of water comes out a bunch of water that's why i'm shaking ah <laughs> that's why i'm shaking it i'm shaking let's shake can you hear it oh my lord okay so let's see if the water oh yeah that's better but yeah this is what the shade dip olive looks like but let's just Go ahead and apply it to the face like let's just you know just gotta shift this back because i don't want a line of demarcation all right hmm. okay oh mm. okay that's not a forgiving smell i don't know what it smells like i don't know it smells like plastic that's nice hmm all right, so they said, um, stay matte but not flat liquid foundation provides full coverage with a mineral enriched matte finish. Okay, it is not full coverage, but then maybe I just didn't apply uh, a lot because I only applied about half a pump or whatever. Let's just try and see if we can build it up. Ooh, and I just took so much and it has a bit of a running consistency into actually not a bit a lot of it <laughs> okay um well i definitely look darker and i hope that's gonna go down it looks really luminous looks really radiant as you guys can see and um it is not a matte finish foundation whatsoever i don't know where they get it matte from maybe because i'm using it with a really damped body sponge i don't know but let's just go ahead and set with powder and see what we're gonna get okay um i actually have the corresponding powder to test with it it's the nyx stay matte but not flat powder foundation as well should we go ahead and set it before we conceal i think we should just try it let's just let's just try the powder because let's just do it let's just do it so this is what the powder looks like this is the box that it came with this is the actual powder itself oh yep we've got a flyer and when you open it up this is the powder itself and it also comes with a second compartment that has the um those things in it you know those little applicators these 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 little, these little things oh okay oh in real life when it's looking a little bit dark but you're gonna kind of with a concealer you know highlighting and whatnot that that's gonna be fine and i know some of you guys might be thinking esther why are you powdering your face before you go ahead and apply concealer under your eye it's fine if you already apply powder before foundation this is not gonna be anything new you know it's fine don't worry just be happy so this is supposed to be water resistant sweat resistance feel like feels like silk on skin no it doesn't all right so let's continue actually i have another powder i wanted to test out this is a l'oreal true matte super blendable powder i picked this up at Superdrug as well i think and i really wanted to try it out even though let me just i just want to see the finish i know this is so much powder but i just want to see you know and this is a shade 9n n9 
oh my skin is looking so even you know you know how obsessed i am with looking even it's looking good or whatever oh okay i like this part but it's quite sheer there's i don't see a coverage there but it gives a little like color you know what i mean like almost like next to nothing you know the mac next to nothing it just gives a little tint of color to the face it doesn't really have any coverage to it i don't think it does but then they say it's super blendable powder so yeah have you guys used this powder before what do you think about it comment down below so i picked up these um i don't know contour trio from primer for three pounds i just i just lost my train of thought train of thought train of thought it's got bronzing shade and highlight or whatever there's three in the packet and this is what the actual packet looks like let's just get get it out let's 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 get it on let's get it on <laughs> actually also picked up another highlight and contour kit or whatever you know so we might have to combine this with this so this is the black radiance true <laughs> the black radiance true complexion contour palette i've been wanting to try this ever since they came out with it i think they came out with this last year hmm i don't remember exactly when last year but i wanted to try it you can't find it anywhere in australia i couldn't really find it anywhere to sh that ships to australia and i finally found it on amazon and i decided to place an order it's really inexpensive as well i really really like the contour palette you know the the powder version i absolutely love this thing i love it look at that the contour shade is gone i've literally hit pen on all the shades literally i like the fact that they actually put a diagram of the places where you should put the the shades and whatnot look at that it's really good and i think this would be really good this is really good for beginners i actually recommended these for my friends you know the the powder one and they picked up <laughs> they bought it man like ugh. they really really like it it's very inexpensive as well so um i'm just gonna go ahead and try this cream shade right here it's very very creamy and yep this is quite dark oh yeah it's, it's it, yeah it's, it's dark i wish i had picked up the light to medium oh why a star it feels nice comfortable it feels nice and creamy like butter um oh boy it's so dark okay let's just grab the contour shade oh okay 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 i really like this it's so so nice and creamy i really really like this oh it feels so good okay okay so now that we've got contour down and we don't have highlighting on let's just go ahead and, and use this primac contour stick but the highlight term uh, this is one of those pens that you can't twist it to get more out of it like what you see is what you get literally that amount right there is literally what you're gonna get the tree of life the tree of life look at that all right let me just put it under here now i'm just doing the most i'm literally just doing the most now Oof. Okay, I'm looking all bronze, I'm looking all contoured almost, I'm looking, I'm looking, you know. <laughs> oh, I always love it when I do this, I just, <laughs> yeah, wow, 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 okay. I literally did not know where to start, oh, oh, Lord Jesus, that's dried. The way I just threw that beauty blender down, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh that contour kit is a little bit of a joke <laughs> okay i actually literally i literally like the way that just blended out of my forehead i like that wow all right so i really like this contour palette and i knew i would like it i literally knew i would like it because of how much i love the the powder palettes like i really like this and i just wish i wish the shade was light enough to like highlight with and whatnot but the way it just blended out in the oh the I recommend this i like this all right so i'm gonna go back into this cream contour palette and i'm actually just gonna grab this illuminating shade and now i'm grabbing it after i just set <laughs> my under eye with powder or whatnot but which is which is gonna roll with it because i literally forgot about it so i just wanna oh i love gold undertone highlights yes look at that do you see that oh do you see that oh that is so pretty Let's just see what's going to happen. This is my first time using a cream highlighter or whatnot. So, uh, <laughs> let me just go in with a beauty blender. Oh, oh no, it's dried. Wow, it dries really fast. That That's beautiful. Oh my Lord. It dries super, super quick. Wow, that's that's really cute. And even though I, do, even though I have another highlighter to test or whatnot, 
this is this is this is this is killing it this is good okay let's just jump into the eyes okay so i picked up two palettes from barry m cosmetics and i picked this up at superdrug in london they're also in australia but i don't know if this particular palette are in australia but i do believe big w sells barry m cosmetics in australia and i believe in the us as well um yeah so i picked up two palettes i picked up the fall in love palette as well as the crown jewels palettes when i saw these two palettes the thing that really like drew me to both of these palettes or to like, even just one or whatever is the size of it and the, like just i like the compactness like the way it's nice and compact i like little little things like this especially for when you're traveling and whatnot you know or when you're going to an event and you want to do your makeup in the car on your way there i don't know i just really like it i like how small and cute it is oh i love oh cardboard smell duh i was smelling the cardboard oh that's so pretty <laughs> does anyone else like taking plastic wraps off new stuff is it just me is it is, is it just me it's just me isn't it okay i don't know the fall in love palette is a sh is a matte palette this is a crown juice palette this is a shimmer or metallic if you may eyeshadow combination here and that you've got 10 shades in here as well so that's really cool i really like the fact that it comes with a mirror so let's just go ahead and see what we're gonna cook up what we can cook up from this shades okay it does have a little bit of pigment to it which is not bad so i'm just gonna go into the shade right here there's like a brown shade it has a little bit of a red undertone to it as well so i'm just gonna grab that i literally just tried to grab it from my arm that's hilarious oh there's can you see that there's, there's a fair bit of kickback when you put the brush in it but it's fine it's a synthetic brush as well so it is quite pigmented which is really really nice you know especially when it's not dapped off as well it doesn't apply chunky or whatever so that's really cool okay you still get a bit of payoff there as well but not as much as when you don't dab it off you know so i'm just gonna pick it up and not dab it off and just yeah so i'm gonna pick up this light shade here it's a beige tone shade and i'm gonna apply this in my brow bone Actually, the more I try to blend out the grayish or dark color, the more it disappears. Look at that. Oh no, we're looking a muddy mess. I really want to see how pigmented this metallic shade or what they call metallic shade is. To me, I just feel like it's just a straight up shimmer shade. Oh, that black shade is pretty though. It has a little bit of a specks of glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this yellow shimmer shade. Yep, I'm going to play, place this in my on my lid. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It looks like this is the palette that's going to give us fallout. All right, that's not bad, but I'll, I'm really interested to see what it's going to look like when you spray the brush. Oh, okay. I'm not really liking that as much. It's not really... I thought it was going to scream at me. I thought I was going to gasp, like, go, oh, that's so pretty. But I'm not gasping. It's not making me gasp. Make me gasp now. Let's press it down. I don't know. It's not shouting my name. Yeah. Let, let me just finish this and then we'll talk, okay? Okay, this is supposed to be a metallic shade. There's nothing metallic about this. Do they look metallic to you? They just kind of look matte with a little bit of shimmer to it nah i mean it's a little bit pigmented but when you're applying it it's not as pigmented as it is on my finger right now i don't know i don't like that um mm. yeah nah okay so um things might be a little better once you apply liner and lashes and mascara and whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be right back all right so here we go i went ahead and i applied lashes and liner you know a little bit of gray liner and whatnot so the um illuminating shade we applied from the black radiance palette is still there a little bit but it's not as you know so uh, it's a nice sort of glow or whatever but i've always wanted to try this this is the maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter and everyone was raving about this towards the end of last year and i really wanted to try it but as usual it wasn't here in australia at all so i found it in london as well in superdrug and i picked up the shade molten bronze so this is what it looks like up close and personal okay all right that's gonna be interesting on the face let's just see it is okay that's that's actually really nice okay that's really nice it applies really really beautifully and it blends out really beautifully as well like when you're getting it when you're picking it up you you think oh this is not really pigmented but when you start applying it you realize how pigmented it is literally that looks really cute or whatever okay i'm gonna go off and apply blush and whatnot and lipstick and i'll be right back all right so here we go face is all done i don't know if you guys can see my face now like i'm looking a little bit I'm not looking matte at all. I'm looking a little bit like 
radiant i don't know but anyway so i really like all the products we tested out in this video except for the crown jewels eyeshadow palette i did not like this it, it didn't really scream out to me as i thought it would literally like the shade is not nothing to write home to nigeria about literally but the fall in love palette though it's nicely pigmented very easy to blend nice payoff when you don't dab it off not as much payoff when you dab it off the brush but when you don't dab it off the brush it doesn't have quite chunky which is really good very smooth this one is quite chunky like but it's pigmented but then i noticed as well that the color kind of does down once you swatch it and also when you're applying it on your lid as well the color does down a, a, a fraction and i don't i don't like that about it you know um they did say it's a limited edition so that's a good thing <laughs> I feel like they kind of knew this wasn't really gonna sell as much, so yeah. Anyway, um, comment down below. Let me know which of these products you've already tried, and or which one would are you interested in trying out? Or just come and say hi, talk to me. I like talking to you guys in the comments. Y'all know I can respond to you guys. You know. Okay, thank you so 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 much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Okay, and if you're yet subscribed, if you watched this whole video and you did not subscribe. Uh, you probably forgot. It's okay. I forgive you. Just go ahead and subscribe now. Turn on the notification and you'll be 1000% forgiven. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and subscribe now. It's okay. Okay. So as I said earlier, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next video. And as always, whatever you're doing to love yourself. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.